Hello, we again welcome the visitors of the site uh, Greeting Soft Trojan Killer and our customers. Today we will explain to you how you may effectively remove uh, the well-known fake anti-spyware called uh, System Progressive Protection. You may see this scam on our desktop and indeed this fake antivirus called System Progressive Protection is a very very stubborn and persistent malware. It doesn't want to leave your system. It wants you to buy its fake license or activation code. However, this program, System Progressive Protection, is a totally useless and helpless antivirus tool. Because when real infections do come into your system, this uh, application will not assist you in uh, their removal. This program can only report fake infections, like the ones you see here, some Trojan, Worm, Trojan, Spyware, and other stuff. All these f infections that System progress Progressive Protection reports about, they are all fake, they are invented. They are not present on your system. Now, the problem with System Progressive Protection is that uh, uh, this fake anti-spyware tool it blocks launching of uh, decent security programs you have installed on your system. For example, we have Trojan Killer installed on our computer already, and let's try to launch Trojan Killer by uh, double-clicking its icon on our desktop. So we've double-clicked it, and we have a warning: application cannot be executed. The file is infected. Well. The same happens if you try to launch, for example, Task Manager. It says application cannot be executed. The same scary warning, which is not true, because the file Task Manager is not infected. It's a good file, it's a decent Windows file. And uh, let's say if you even try to um, launch WordPad, the same warning comes up. If you try to launch Notepad, the same fake warning comes up. So you see, uh, System Progressive Protection Fake Anti Spyware does not want to leave your system. Now, how do we actually stop or terminate the negative process of System Progressive Protection scam? Well, termination of its process is a very important step because if we uh, succeed to remove, uh, or if we succeed to terminate the negative process of system progressive protection, we will then be able to run some anti spyware application of our choice. So, today I will explain to you how you may stop the malicious process of system progressive protection scam. First thing you need to do is to go to my computer. You click the icon of my computer on your desktop. Then we click Tools. We go to Folder Options. We click View tab. And we make sure that we have hidden files and folders uh, viewable. So make sure that there is a check here. Show hidden files and folders. And make sure that you see uh, the extensions for known file types. Make sure that there is no tick in this box. So we click Apply, then we click OK. Uh, now we go to a special folder located at our system drive, C drive. So we go to Local Disk, C. Then we go to Windows folder, show the contents of this folder, and we go then to System32 folder. Here it is, System32, we double click it. In this folder, System32, we need to find two files. The first file we need to find is called cmd.exe. Let's find it. Oh, 
ok here it is cmd.exe we need to copy it and to paste it to our desktop so we've copied cmd.exe and pasted it to our desktop now the second file we need to find is called taskkill.exe this file is also located in a system32 folder so we are looking for taskkill.exe file okay here is this file we again click copy on it and copy it and paste it, it to our desktop <coughs> we may now shut down system32 folder so what we do now is we uh, rename cmd.exe into into explorer.exe and as far as task kill exe is concerned we also need to rename this file into i explore dot exam so what we're doing right now we need to click explorer exam the renamed cmd exe file so we click explorer exe and we have this window coming up um, we can see the cursor blinking and now we need to type a special command please be careful while I am typing it so Here is the command starting from this place, I explore, and finishing with this F letter. So make sure that this command is typed correctly. After you have typed this command, you need to click Enter on your keyboard. Well, it says the process with PID 424 has been terminated. And in fact, you see that uh, the window of System Progressive Protection Scam has disappeared. This means that our attempt to terminate it through this command was successful. So what we are doing right now, we may now download uh, Gradientsoft Trojan Killer. If you don't have this program yet, uh, you may download it through clicking Start and choosing your browser. Uh, by going to Internet Explorer or other browser browser of your preference so the site you need to go to is called <coughs> trojanhealer.net we go to this site we can see that system progressive protection scam no longer blocks our launching of security programs we may now easily download Trojan Healer through the direct download link available at this site and then this will help us remove uh, system progressive protection scam completely because after we have uh, terminated the negative process of system progressive protection scam this doesn't yet mean that system progressive protection virus has been removed no it is still there and in fact if you restart your system right now system progressive protection will come up again so what we are doing right now is we downloaded we are downloading the security software called Gudinsoft Trojan Killer to remove uh, system progressive protection scam completely from our system so we click next we proceed with the installation process 
We install Greetingsoft Trojan Killer, the powerful security software, and we will see how effective it is in removing system progressive protection fake anti spyware from your computer. Okay, the very process of installation of Trojan Killer might take some time and after it has been completed we may click finish and we will see that uh, Trojan Killer application is being successfully um, loaded onto your system to remove all remnants of system progressive protection scam. So let's wait while Trojan Killer is being loaded. Okay, here we can see the window of Trojan Giller version 2140 and we can see how the program began to automatically update itself. Of course, update of the program is a very important <coughs> step because this means that your antivirus signatures and uh, databases of Greetingsoft Trojan Giller are up to date to ensure maximum protection against all contemporary threats. So. Make sure that the program updates itself first be before scanning your system. Okay, so after the program has been successfully updated, it begins scanning your system and right now we may see some first detections of files and registry entries associated with uh, system progressive protection fake and spyware. Let's see how uh, Trojan Killer completely removes this virus from your system. Okay, dear users, so once the scanning process has been completed, we will see the list of infections that have been checked for removal. And you need to press Remove Selected button to make sure that all the infections have been successfully removed. So we see Finish all the selected threads were removed. So thank you very much for your attention. We hope this information has been clear to you. And if you have any problems or questions, please go to our official site of uh, Greetingsoft Trojan Killer for further assistance.